हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन सेशन ऑफ सब्जेक्ट कॉम्प्यूटर साइंस टू इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी फंक्शनल ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ एट जीरो एट फाइव माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड फंक्शन ऑफ ईच ब्लॉक हियर यू कैन सी फंक्शनल ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ एट जीरो एट फाइव माइक्रो प्रोसेसर हियर यू कैन सी वेरियस मेन ब्लॉक्स एक्यूमिलेटर अरेथमेटिक लॉजिक यूनिट टेम्पररी रजिस्टर फ्लैग रजिस्टर इंस्ट्रक्शन रजिस्टर इंस्ट्रक्शन डिकोडर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ रजिस्टर्स स्टैक पॉइंटर प्रोग्राम काउंटर इंक्रीमेंटर डिक्रीमेंटर एड्रेस बफर डेटा ऑब्लिक एड्रेस बफर दिस इज टाइमिंग एंड कंट्रोल यूनिट इंटरप्ट कंट्रोल एंड सीरियल इनपुट आउटपुट कंट्रोल हियर एट बिट इंटरनल डेटा बस इज देयर एंड address bus is also there so you can here you can see address bus here you can see data bus now we will see function of each block 8085 is an 8 bit microprocessor it has following configurations it has 8 bit data bus 16 bit address bus address bus can address up to 64 kb memory locations it has 8 bit accumulator 16 bit program counter 16 bit stack pointer 6 8 bit registers arranged in pairs b c d e and h l it requires plus 5 volt power supply it operates at 3.2 megahertz clock frequency so now we will see address bus and data bus data bus carries 8 bit data it is bidirectional bus address bus carries 16 bit address of the location where data is stored address bus is unidirectional now we will see various functional units 8085 consists of the following functional units first we will see accumulator it is 8 bit register used to perform arithmetic as well as logical operations it is also used to input output and load or store the data it is connected to internal data bus and arithmetic logic unit the result is stored in accumulator now we will see arithmetic logic unit as the name suggests it performs various arithmetic as well as logical operations addition subtraction and operation or operation so it performs these arithmetic and logical operations there are general purpose registers there are six general purpose registers in 8085 processor these are b c d e h and l each register can hold 8 bit data these registers can work in pair to hold 16 bit data and their pairing combinations are b c d e and h l program counter is 16 bit register it is used to store the memory address location of the next instruction to be executed microprocessor increments the program counter whenever an instruction is being executed so that program counter points to the memory address of the next instruction that is going to be executed stack pointer is also 16 bit register works like stack which is always incremented or decremented by 2 during push and pop operations temporary register is 8 bit register which holds temporary data of arithmetic and logical operations instruction register is 8 bit register when an instruction is fetched from memory then it is stored in the instruction register instruction decoder decodes the information present in the instruction register timing and control unit is very important unit it provides timing and control signal to the processor to perform operations 
so following are the timing and control signals here you can see which control external and internal circuits so ready read bar write bar or ale these are control signals then s0 s1 io oblique m bar these are status signal then hold hlda also reset signals reset in bar and reset out now we will see interrupts when a microprocessor is executing a main program and whenever an interrupt occurs the microprocessor shifts the control from the main program to process the incoming request after the request is completed the control goes back to the main program there are five interrupt signals in 8085 microprocessor these are intr rst 7.5 rst 6.5 rst 5.5 and trap there is another important unit serial input oblique output control it controls the serial data communication by using these two instructions sid and sod sid means serial input data where data is given to the microprocessor serially and sod means serially output the data address buffer and address dash data buffer the content stored in the stack pointer and program counter is loaded into the address buffer and address data buffer to communicate with the cpu the memory and input output chips are connected to these buses the cpu can exchange the desired data with the memory and input output chips this figure shows block diagram of arithmetic logic unit arithmetic logic unit is 8 bit unit which performs arithmetic and logical operations alu contains adder shifter and status register adder performs arithmetic operations like addition and subtraction shifter performs logical operations like rotate left rotate right etc the result is stored in accumulator here status register is used status register contains group of individual flip flops that can be set or reset based on the condition created by last alu operation temporary register is used to store the data temporarily during the operation now we will see flag register it is 8 bit register having five flip flops which holds either 0 or 1 depending upon the result stored in the accumulator so there are five flags sign flag zero flag auxiliary carry flag parity flag and carry flag the bit position of flag register is shown in the table so you can see here so bit d7 represents sign flag here bit d6 represents zero flag d4 represents auxiliary carry then parity and carry flag now we will see interpretation of flags first we will see sign flag if d7 bit is zero that means sign flag is reset it means that the result in the accumulator is positive number if s is equal to 1 that means sign flag is set the result in the accumulator is negative number then we will see zero flag if the result is zero then zero flag is set otherwise it is reset here you can see if z is equal to 0 then the result is not zero the zero flag is reset and if z is equal to 1 zero flag is set that means result is zero then we will see auxiliary carry flag if bit d3 generates carry while doing any arithmetic and logic operation then this flag is set otherwise it is reset so here you can see when auxiliary carry is equal to 0 that flag is reset it means that 
auxiliary carry is not generated during arithmetic and logical operation. If AC is equal to 1, that means that flag is set. Auxiliary carry is generated during arithmetic and logical operation. Now we will see parity flag. If result contains even number of 1s, then this flag is set. And if result contains odd number of 1s, then this flag is reset. Here you can see that if P is equal to 0, then it, this indicates that parity flag is reset. That means result contains odd number of 1s. And if P is equal to 1, indicates result contains even number of 1s. Now we will see carry flag. If any arithmetic and logical operation generates carry, then carry flag is set, otherwise it is reset. So, when C y is equal to 0, that means carry flag is reset. Carry is not generated during arithmetic and logical operation. If carry is equal to 1, that means carry flag is set. That means carry is generated during arithmetic and logical operation. Now we will take one example. The flag register of 8085 microprocessor contains data 3CH. Interpret its meaning. So the given data is 3CH. Convert this hexadecimal number into binary number which is 00111100. So here the flag register content is 00111100. So sign flag is equal to 0, that means flag is reset, that means number is positive. Z is equal to 0, means 0 flag is reset, this means that the result is non-zero. Auxiliary carry flag is set, that means carry is generated from bit D3 to D4. Parity is equal to 1, that means parity flag is set. This indicates that there are even number of 1s in the result. And carry flag is reset. C is equal to 0. That means no carry is generated from MSB. So this is all about today's session. Thank you so much.